Hey, good morning. Welcome on this beautiful Tuesday here in sunny Holland. Well, today I'm gonna talk about Android X86. And you're like, X86? What the hell is that? Well, as you all know, Android is made for phones. But no one said it couldn't run on computers. And two years ago, people would really laugh at you if you would talk about Android running on a PC. Because they would be like, what do you need the telephone operating system on a, on a PC for? But then Ubuntu also made the netbook version and uh, I think the netbook version of Ubuntu and Android they're like kind of family you know they're kind of family it's also Linux but I think these guys also have something to do with the Android thing going on Android and Ubuntu netbook I think they look kind of yeah they have something from each other they look like brother and sister you know at least they are from one family they're all from the Linux family anyway today I'm gonna show you that uh, the x86 uh, uh, version of Android improved and um, if you have an old computer somewhere an old laptop you will be really happy to see uh, that uh, you can install gingerbread 2.3 and that's the latest uh, x86 android is the, the version the test version 4 from uh, 11th of july so it's brand new these guys just put it out there for uh, guys like us to test and uh, today i'm gonna show you how this thing runs on uh, for instance a eee pc or even an asus or acer um, laptop Although um, I removed my installation of the Acer laptop, but I still have it on the EEE PC. So let me show you a little bit about Gingerbread the version 2.3, special made for x86 computers. Okie doke then, welcome back. This is my EE PC. I told you about this one. You saw it running even Windows 7 a while ago. And uh, I'm turning her on. And as you can see um, up here, I just have to... You can't see nothing. Eh? Bet you can't see anything. Oh, the screen is... Um, <clears throat> and I saw that by pressing the escape and the on off button that will bring it out of a fast sleeper and uh, as you can see I have the Windows 7 uh, look and feel on it so it looks like it's running Windows 7 but then with the live wallpaper looking all cute and you can see there are many programs you are like hey I want this I want this on my on my EPC e because yeah you can do many things and um, it has no market though but it has apps, apps, uh, something. What is it called? It got uh, App Store here, and App Store will let you find APK share. Everybody is like dissing APK share and saying it's not good. It only has one star. But I tell you, APK share is very, very good, because uh, at APK share you will find the necessary things you need so as such as advanced task killer you will also find a youtube app because the youtube app is not uh, is not included in the installation of this gingerbread bread um, it says there was a problem connecting to the network that's because i'm not connected to the internet to do that we go to wireless network and uh, up here we can manage and we say connect and you will see it will connect real fast uh, scanning connecting obtaining IP address connected you see so no more issues with the Wi-Fi the mouse also works this is the eight the x86 version of Android um, called gingerbread and I will show it to you about this phone I hope you can see it it's saying generic x86 kernel version 2.6.38 
Android x86 root at Ubuntu. You see that Ubuntu is coming back in this thing. Build number um, 2.3.4. I hope you can see it. Eh? If not, I'm I'm really sorry. Let me. Uh, you can see anything. Eh? Can you see that? Like this. The build number. You see that the base band is unknown. It's uh, Android 2.3, 2.34. That means the fourth uh, test build of the gingerbread available for everyone. To download now, eh? and you see the live wallpaper really is is, is so sexy. Eh? There are many more. By pressing uh, the screen, you can go to the wallpapers, and up here you can choose for live wallpapers. I hope you can see it. And up here you can choose out of many. Eh? I love the grass. I just I just took the grass. You know, I like the grass. But you can choose anything you like. Um, yeah. Oh yeah, there's also something very nice, and that is uh, for my friends, older than 18 years, of course, and that is SexTube Pro. You can get that and you uh, will get the warning that this uh, program wants to close, but before you get the warning, uh, it will say error, exceptional, blah, 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 but before you get the warning, you can also click, um, how you call it, you can also click um, update. Uh, get the new version and then you just go to the site it will launch you and then you can download the uh, the tube pro sex tube pro 1.3 and that one will work and will function and you will be able to watch uh, lots of uh, funny movies um, before going to bed anyway what do we have more we have many things more here of course the advanced task killer free it's a program you should run and you can see many programs are running for nothing hogging the memory just hit kill all programs you see that and then your system will be freed and it will run much faster but you can also read the news and go on the internet and do all things you really want to do and that is really cool because uh, here you can go to Google, oops, google.com. You see that? And uh, you're at Google. If you want this as well, I will give it to you. I will put it on the side. The download is only 80 megabytes. Um, and uh, only thing you have to do is uh, download this ISO file, burn it with Nero Burning ROM to a CD and just pop it into your laptop and pray that everything will work but if it finds all the hardware you will be running and having an Android version uh, on your laptop that's really cool to run because it's just fun it's just fun you can even uh, make phone calls uh, with it you can install a SIP, uh, a SIP phone on it and you can make phone calls and uh, I did many things uh, already I'm having too much Android devices now I have at least one two three four five six Android devices you know and uh, you know I'm a little confused these days because I was a Windows user and I still use Windows that's my studio computer it's running Windows XP why it's not running Windows 7 well because in the first place I have a XP license for this thing and in the second place do you know how fast a quad-core computer with 4 GB of RAM runs on Windows XP do you have any idea well <laughs> then you should try it if your computer is not too new and the drivers are still supported for XP you should try it that machine there the machine you just saw running Windows XP it's the best thing ever you know if I produce a movie let's say a movie from 45 minutes it will render the whole project into a, a, a high quality format in less than an hour so it's it's really powerful and uh, Windows XP is one of the best things Microsoft ever made because everything that came after XP I'm talking about Vista uh, uh, 7, 8 
they all contain a lot of spyware you don't want it at least I don't want it so that's why I stick with my Windows XP with my Android and I stick with my iOS on my iPhone and of course OS X uh, Mac OS X 86 of course uh, on my uh, on my other laptop here that's a uh, uh, Acer also an Acer but this is the e-machine from Acer it's the e-machine and uh, as you can see it's uh, it's running Mac OS X eh? it's running a Mac Leopard and this is not some transformation pack or some stupid thing I got this computer I traded it for my uh, for my Samsung Galaxy that I got from my provider and then um, I was like man this phone is gonna fall out of my hand yo so you know I was like let me trade the phone for a dual core laptop and then there was this guy that really wanted this Galaxy and he just got a brand new laptop uh, from uh, eMachine I hope you can read it My friends is a Acer that is a perfect MacBook so if you if you're like you want to buy an expensive MacBook you know I would buy an Acer e-machine nah I'm just kidding if you want a MacBook buy a MacBook but if you don't have money to buy a MacBook just like me if you're poor and you're also like testing things you can test Mac OS X 86 it's a 86 project a special made for uh, PC platforms anyway um, this this Android is, is really cool and you're like what can you do with it well um, I like to listen to music with it cause I even found some nice programs here to play my my music and I'm trying to find it oops I'm a little fast and I think it's really cool that the mouse is, is, is working now. Eh? It's a little tricky to to scroll it down, but when you when you get used to this then you will be like it's really nice. You know I, I listen to some mixes. I just go on YouTube and then you know I just play some music as you can see in high quality. This uh, lady is singing. I won't play it too long before this video get banned again. So you must be very very careful. So um, all I can say is you know Android X86 is really cool to try. You should try it and uh, well you can even install Android on your uh, on your iPhone these days. I mean like there are so many things you can do with Android and why not install it on one of the old laptops just laying around in your house. Anyway thank you for watching this was Spock and uh, I will include this uh, version of Android. I will include it uh, in the download link and I will also I will also put in the program that will let you uh, make a USB um, image file to install on uh, devices, netbooks that have no CD-ROM players. So if your netbook does not have no CD-ROM player, don't worry. I will put uh, an, I will put in a little program, UNetBoot, and with that program you can create or even it will even download the complete file for you from the internet. But I will give you the firmware. Just select the firmware, create this USB. Uh, 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 stick and then just stick it in boot from the device and you will be done and you will be installing Android gingerbread 2.3 x86 made test for July 2011 so this is like brand brand new much fun testing and let me know how things went till my next video this was Spook Darlington from Groningen the Netherlands bye now